What is up YouTube? I'm back with another video here and just wanted to share with you some cards I got in. Should get some more light in here a little bit. Ooh, this video ain't so dark. Uh, found some racing car lots on eBay cheap. Some old school racing car lots. Uh, I'll get started this first lot here I won for 99 cents uh, and shipping was like I want to say four bucks but some pretty awesome old-school cards here some of you guys that have been collecting NASCAR or dabbled in NASCAR you might recognize some of these cards uh, got this Dale Earnhardt senior I do have one of these hat somewhere in my collection with the flames on it pretty cool hat I might say so that was cool uh, got a carry Earnhardt rookie card day one silver silver version there got a Tony Stewart 99 press pass. Here's a Jeff Gordon Bush rookie of the year card. Dale Jinger from 2000 press pass. There's another Dale Jinger with a Napa hat. There's a senior from the same set. Got the King, Richard Petty. This next one I'm thinking about sending for a uh, TTM. It's just, look at the shine on that rainbow foil there from one of the early Press Pass Premium releases. We got the number three. Here's an early race car from Dale Jr. when they had that race in Japan. He had that number three AC Delco. I believe that might have been the first time him and his dad raced in the same race. Competed in the same race. And uh, there's a good wrench car. Two thousand press pass. Got another Richard Petty. Now this card stumped me there for a while. I had to kind of look look it up because it is numbered CT42. And what this is is they released a retail exclusive set that included a hit, and this card is from that set. Here's another Richard Petty. Can we get some into some better insert cards? These are ones I have top loaded. We got a Jeff Gordon winner insert card out of Ultra. Yes, Fleer Ultra at one time did make racing cards. There's my, I think 95 to 96. And they also put an autograph in each box. Here we got a VIP gear gallery of Mark Martin these are really shiny and we got the closer Kevin Harvick we got another Jeff Gordon got a Joey Logano insert out of element Adam Petty rookie card. Here we got another Dale Senior. And then this next, these next five cards is an insert set that was in with this lot. Really, really sweet looking insert set in my book. And we'll start off with Ernie Irvin. They're gold signature cards. They're not actual autographs, just facsimiles. But still, a nice looking insert set. From way back in the day, 1994, 
and we got Dale Jarrett when he drove the interstate batteries car we got Mark Martin who had a long career in NASCAR got Kyle Petty and we got the last one in the set Rusty Wallace we also got a Tony Stewart rookie card I mean for 99 cents that would have been a good deal for just that card got a Tony Stewart press pass premium I think it's the gold foil version the parallel with the rainbow foil there got a Kurt Busch got a Bill Elliott promo card out of Max uh, got the closer skid marks card and what this these cards are famous for is utilizing a uh, the tire in, in the uh, front of the card I guess they grind it up in powder and just make the uh, front of the card with that so that is pretty neat if you've never seen those cards before and we got some NASCAR country cards we got Terry Labonte got Awesome Bill from Dawsonville Bill Elliott and Rusty Wallace got a Mount Mark Martin images preview card we got a couple uh, Speedway collections from Racers Choice Dale Earnhardt there and another Dale Earnhardt and a Kurt Busch zero card out of wheels high gear and what these cards are is they would focus on the champion of NASCAR and uh, I think they were like one in 72 packs so they would put a special insert card out of NASCAR champion that is of Kurt Busch that is a 99 cent eBay win plus shipping. I think it total came to like five bucks and some change. So not too bad for those. I'll take that. Then we have the next pile of cards. It's two separate lots from the same seller. These were a little bit more expensive. I think I paid like 20 bucks and some change total for these. But you'll see why they were a little more expensive in the second lot there. Uh, the first lot, lot are all Jeff Gordon cards. So what up Denny and Gray? Danny and Gray's on uh, YouTube. Check his YouTube out. He does a lot of NASCAR stuff and goes to Martinsville. And uh, my gosh, you guys, he gets a ton of autographs at the, at, at the races. And he goes down to the race shops. And it's really, really, really cool to see what all he gets. And uh, things he gets signed and the people he meets. So uh, he's going to like this first lot because he's a big Jeff Gordon fan. So check these out. Danny and Gray. An ace take card of Jeff Gordon. Clear plastic. So that is a nice card. And we got a drive time from Max. Here's another. Max car, I think that is Racing Images. Insert set is called. Here is Focus on a Champion with the the uh, Jeff Gordon look there going on with the sunglasses. Got a Press Pass VIP headgear. One of my favorite sets that Press Pass used to put out was the VIP because. Their insert cards were all pretty much with the foil. And then you would have the clear acetate parallel version. And then you would have another version parallel that was even harder to get. That I think was numbered. So I love, love those VIP cards. And here's another one from 1996 I believe. Warpaint. 
Here's another shiny card from Upper Deck Racing. Winning formula. Then we got Race Reflections, which these were are pretty cool because how often do you get hand numbering on cards? Especially on racing cards. These are all hand numbered. Out of 1,995. I think that was a special 9 card set or 10 card set. Here's another one from that. The hand numbering there. And we got a Jeff Gordon Chase car die cut. There's another die cut from 98 Stealth. Octane. Pretty cool cards. Got a snapshot of Jeff Gordon. A fan favorites from Optima. We got a foil card here. Cool persistence. Got a classic 1995 stand out what you would do with these they would you could come apart they would come apart and you could like do it like a 3d type thing here with these this next card I didn't have any of these this is I'm taking as a rare card it's got a stamp on it for card of the year 1998 max 1998 it says and we got hot streaks got ground zero where we got the Raptors from the Jurassic Park release we got a SP Racing Legends collection of Jeff Gordon these next this next one is pretty neat because it has the heat technology which you see those two black squares you put your thumb on there and it would let's see if we can do that they would have a it would reveal a fact about Jeff Gordon let's see if we can do that real fast show that off It's taking a while to show up on camera. Well, you can kind of see it there. You can kind of see it. But that is cool to pick that card up. And then another foil card of Jeff Gordon running and gun. Then this next lot was from the same seller. These are some hits, but we'll start off with Select Certified. That one's out of 2,999. Jeff Gordon. Then we got a Joe Nemechek autograph. Got a Jeremy Mayfield. You guys, pretty cool looking autograph there. Got a Jeff Gordon really thick race used fire suit card out of Ignite. That would look pretty cool with the silver autograph on it. Then we got a race used car cover, press pass pieces. It's not numbered. And we have some Prism hits, Carl Edwards. These are all race used tire. Matt Kenseth. We got Ryan Newman. We got Kevin Harvick, the closer. And the last one is a hat. It is a manufacturer sprint and team hat, which the team hat has three collars of Tony Stewart. And that is going to do it for this video. Uh, for
for this old school NASCAR lot from eBay. There's two, three lots there, but two, the last two were from the same seller. Pretty good bargains in my book. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.